and um, I had a few questions like some people did their uh, website using some of the tools like uh, easier tools I, that's okay with me um, that some of the stuff that I asked you to do was add a, a certain portion of the script certain certain script into your website and they seems to having some trouble um, using those tools I don't know what you guys are using so uh, if you having if you had the trouble then it would be easier just to open up your website using some text editor simple text editor and then insert your uh, insert the script that I ask you to do in, in the right place in the uh, web page in Korean briefly I mean 그 아주 쉽게는 메모장 같은 같은 거로 자기네들 파일을 열면 다 열려요. HTML은 다 보여요. 저 스크립트도 다 보이고 대부분 다 무슨 툴을 사용해서 했기 때문에 툴만 할줄 아니까 이걸 어떻게 할지 모르는데 내가 뭐 어디 추가해라 이런 거는 툴에서 안 되는 경우도 있었 있는 사람들이 꽤 있더라고요. 무슨 툴을 이용했는지 내가 잘 모르니까 그럴 경우에는 메모장으로 그냥 통째로 열어요. 그럼 HTML 그대로 보이고 거기서 수정해서 그냥 메모창 그대로 저장하면 웹페이지 바뀌는 거예요. 그렇죠? It's a very simple step. So just sometimes using a simple editor like a uh, 메모장 or VI, Vim or or anything that you choose to use it, that things should be okay. 아마 어디 워드에서 워드에서 열어도 열릴 거예요. Simple ASCII types. So hopefully you can I, I know some of you did it that way or using tools, I don't really care. Okay, so, um, 그리고, was there a problem to accessing those uh, URLs? 혹시 URL 카피해서 가지고, 그 PDF에 있는 거 클릭하지 말고 카피 전체로 해서 해본 사람 있어요? 되죠? 그죠? 안 된다고 하는 사람이 있는데, 그내 URL, H, 그, the URL that I put on the assignment 3 wasn't uh, hypertext, so I meant to be copy that and paste that on your URL, then then you should be able to access that uh, 그 뭐야 뭐냐 that, that page I haven't checked it uh, I would check it maybe I can check it now okay let's get back to this um, slide so information security uh, keep your information safe usually if you hear the term information security in two different branch one is for encryption part Amua. so there are uh, there are fields that they study for the encryption techniques. The other is like information security on the internet part. Information security, one part is encryption, the other part is for um, internet security itself, like hackings, like how do you protect your website, like those are typically two big branch, but we're gonna discuss mostly on the, uh, we're gonna briefly discuss on the encryption part, very, uh, basic ideas of how you do it. And then we're going to take a look at some cases for attacking and hacking incidents like in the internet browsers and stuff. So physical security, lock the doors, maintain the control of the devices, online security, secure assembly languages, secure operating systems, secure networks. So one of the examples that I gave you last class was if you take a look at the Samsung smartphone, brand new application was in place, Knox. So if you start using that application, you, the, you are, I think you are given a choice that do you want to encrypt your contact information? Do you want to encrypt any files in your smartphone? If you can do it, then um, you can protect your information in your own device. Of course, it will be a bit slow. It will take some time to encrypt it. But it will be much more secure in, in case that you lose your phone or something. 그런, 그런 것도 많잖아요. The reason phones that if you lose your phone, you can remotely delete your information on the phone that you, you lost. Website 들어가서 그 잊어버리면 그 회사 웹사이트 들어가서 자기 폰에 있는 정보 쑥 지울 수 있게 할 수도 있잖아요. 요즘에. 그 원래 HTC라는 회사 혹시 HTC 폰 써본 사람? HTC 지금 써요? 혹시? 옛날에? HTC was 지금 지금 G1 HTC 몰라 요즘에 HTC 한국에 안 팔아서 잘 모르겠어. 아니 안드로이드 처음 처음 이게 어 맞아요. HTC 시대 컴퍼니 was 
were, uh, they, they make their names popular because of those functionalities. H if you lose your HTTC phone, then if you go into uh, HTTC website, then you will be fine your phones and you could delete everything on the phones. There was one popular choice. Uh, there was one popular stuff about the company. HTTC, 우리나라에서는 사실 아직 그렇게 많이 쓰진 않았는데 초반에 나왔을 때 스마트폰 상당히 잘 만들어. 지금도 잘 만들고 그 리눅스 베이스로 해갖고 잘했는데 그 회사가 유명해진 지금 계기가 당시만 해도 자기 HTTC 폰을 잊어버리면 걔네 웹사이트, 웹사이트에 들어가면 자기 폰이 어디 있는지 추적해주고 그리고 자기 정보를 자동으로 지울 수 있게 이렇게 하는 그것 때문에 유명해졌었어요 한동안. 요즘엔 좀 이리 치우고 저리 치우고 해서 요즘엔 다 모든 다 회사들 웬만하면 다 제공하죠. 애플도 제공하고. And so securing the operating systems and hacking. How do you protect? How? What is the one simple way of securing your operating system? Most of you are using Windows, for example. But um, update, frequent update might be a nice way of doing it. 잘안 하지? 우리 Windows 업데이트 잘안 하죠? Uh, what are those update are doing? 업데이트가 뭐 하는 걸까? 도대체. There, there is a website that is announcing the uh, uh, vulnerabilities. So if there is something wrong with the software in your system, they make announcement. If you, there is a bug, there is a problem in the software. So if you do this, then your program will crash. So the companies will take a look at those vulnerabilities and make a small code to replace that. So it's a vulnerability uh, report websites are there. Based on those informations, companies make a change, companies change uh, some part of their softwares and give it to your computers so you can fix it. The chat on IG. Physical security, it doesn't look like much, but there was, uh, recently there has been many cases for physical security. 막 보안이라고 해서 어렵게 생각하지 말고 최근에 physical security 관련된 일이 많이 있었어요. 혹시 뭔지 아는 사람, 뭐 힌트가 된다면 카드사, 전산소 막 이런 얘기 있었는데 최근에 막 카드사 불나서 카드 매출 안 되고 은행 안 되고 막 이랬었죠. Physical security. How do you protect your data physically? Can you can you put your data, copy of your data somewhere else? So those are our strategies for the physical security. Anyway, uh, if there's more examples, and then I would discuss more. Uh, so I think we left around here. Threats and defenses. Authentication, establishing identities. Require username and password. Password is the, the oldest security mechanism that, that we've been using so far. Password has been around for a long time. So, secure password file with the hash function, one-way encryption. So anybody try to write down your banking password in the separate file? 혹시 패스워드만 따로 적어놓은 파일이 있는 사람? 컴퓨터에 있죠. 대부분 많이 하죠. So when you open up the file, can you see your password right away? Or do you usually put Another password to protect that file. Some people do that, some people don't do that, mostly. One of these uh, security advices that banks and, and uh, any other website companies, they tell you is do not write down your password in separate file. So if you are afraid of those situations, then you can actually make a bit of change, make it encryption. Password amoashikaso. You can encrypt the password or you can encrypt the entire file that contains the password. You have a few choices to do that. So hash is a, a one of the ways that that you can make it disappear or will look different from the conventional password. This is one example. If your password is 1COMP2, 1 compared to if this is your password, ASCII, then I'm gonna do something to change it to this. It's a, one of the simple ways they suggest. This is just one of the examples. It doesn't mean that your program is doing this. 
there are many different algorithms to do this. So simply their way is, this is pseudocode like I guess, so replace letters by numbers like 1 is 1, C, A, B, C, so third, 3, I guess O is 15th, uh, M is 13, P 16, I don't know, you can count whether that's correct or not, but 2, you make this as a number, so already you kind of, well, if you don't know what you did, then it, then it doesn't look like your password, so this is original password, so you're already doing some type of encryption, but it's not a perfect way, I mean, if you can, someone can find out this is a sequence of the letters and they can easily guess back the original password. So using this, they add them up, add all the numbers. If you add all the numbers, 50, okay. And then I like to do a mod, 50 mod by 7, mod by 7. Moduga 뭐지? Modular is, well, Num like chill young illi zero one to six and then Namoji Kanangojo. Chillo Nada sit the Namoji ka. So mode seven is one. So you if you do a fifteen mode seven it will be one and then into one you add one and multiply by nine. One plus one nine gives you eighteen. And then they reverse the digit. Eighteen to eighty one. Okay, I don't know what this is doing, but this 80, 18 to 81. 8 in the sequence is what? 8시면 아마 H, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. I know. 맞나? 8, 8, I'm sorry. 8. 지금 A, B, C, D를 모르겠네. H, uh, 8 will be H, 1, A. This is my hash key or something. So I store, instead of I store this as my password, I store HA in my files. Can I bring it back, this? Yes, you can. You can just do a reverse ordering. So there is algorithm to make a fake looking password. As long as you can bring it back to the original, then it's okay, right? So it's, it's in a way of hiding your original password and you just did a hashing function. So function, the steps that you do is, is one of the ways of doing hash function. 사실 hash function 자체는 여러 군데서 많이 쓰는 거라 그냥 감추는 방법이라고 보면 돼요. We're going to discuss for the cipher mechanism in later slide. So hopefully this gives you some idea of, for example, hiding your uh, password. Uh, encrypting your password but it says one way one way encryption if it's one way probably it's if the hackers can find out the steps then you will be, they will be able to recover your original password so in a way this is not not 100% secure way of protecting your password 그 암호화하는 사람들이 뭐 하는 사람들이냐면 이거 하는 방법을 연구하는 사람들이 어떻게 어떻게 하면 좀이 중간 거를 어렵게 만들어 가지고 할수 없게 하는지 반대로 또 암호화하는 사람들은 이게 있으면 이 방법 이걸 어떻게 했는지 따로 추리해 내는 사람들이에요. 좀 다른 얘기긴 한데 그러면 만약에 이렇게 이렇게 주면 can you guess the way of doing encryption 할수 있겠어요? You're given and this original password and hash, it, this encrypted hat, uh, encrypted hat, uh, password. If you're given two sets, can you guess the steps? Uh, yes or no? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. If you do try a lot of times, but not from a single examples. If you have a many examples of original password and hash, uh, encryption pass, encryption key, then yes. You might, you, uh, your chances of discovering this algorithm it will be higher. 물론 이거 하나만 딱 주고 하라 그러면 힘들겠지만 얘랑 얘랑 여러 가지 오리지널이랑 해주면 결국 할수 있겠죠. 
불가능한 건 아니니까 여러 가지 해보더라고요. So, so sometimes uh, it's also a good idea to not to have many samples like, revealed out. So that's one way to protect your own algorithm of encryption. 이 샘플을 많이 다른 사람한테는 다 알려주지 않는 것도 하나의 막는 방법 중에 하나예요. 자기 방법을 uh, 유추할 수 없게 만드는 것도. 당연히 샘플이 많으면 어떻게든지 한번 할수 있겠죠. 뭔 얘기하려나 말았더라. 또 까먹었다. 에이씨, 머리가 안 좋아졌어. 원래 좋지도 않은 머리 다 까먹었어. So, ah, yeah. so, so, uh, so the reason that I ask you why uh, anybody store their password in the separate files in your computers is, is typically what the hackers are usually do. So if the hackers hack into your computer, it means that they have an entry to your computer, first thing they probably do is looking for a file that containing a password. 일반적으로 바이러스들이 이런 걸 많이 하는 게 뭐냐면 바이러스들은 잘안 그러는데 if 뭐 약간 이 사람을 더 해킹하고 싶으면 uh, I don't know, they, they, this program scanning for the file name like this. If you store your password in this, 많이들 이렇게 하잖아, 그죠? Or pass, or pass, or pass. So the small hacking program will scan everything in your system for files containing this different combina combinations sometimes. 이렇게도 하지 password. After they scanning this, they can open up. If you don't do any type of encryption of your password, they have a complete access to your password. Uh, often government make announcement that do not store your 코드표 for your uh, 공인인증서, 그죠? 공인인증서 코드표, 인터넷 뱅킹 어카운트 있는 사람. Pretty the reason of doing the government keep asking you to not to do that is they found a lot of small hacking programs that are looking for the file name like Kodukyo. If you scan that code pure is usually gift. Is it? I mean PDF now. Code. 실제로 바이러스 프로그램들이 이런 파일만 찾아다닌대요. If they find one in your directory, they will probably send that file to the hacker's computers, for example. So, there are reasons for doing this. So that's why, if, even if you keep this type of files, then what if you encrypt the entire files? Or encrypt the password the way that we saw? If then even the hackers, even if the hackers gain this file, they will probably have no idea because that's not the original password. So. So that is an extra uh, secure mechanism that they are discussing. Lux 같은 게 그런 거 해주는 거겠지? 이 파일 자체를 다 encrypt 해갖고 이 파일을 딱딱딱 클릭하고 연락을 하면 지금 그냥 열리는데 매번 패스워드를 물어본다거나 장가 놓는다거나 할수 있죠. 그래서 하지 말라는 걸 하지 말아야 돼. 이렇게 해놓으면 안 돼. 어, 이런 프로그램 짜는 게 그렇게 어려울까? 그렇게 어렵진 않을 거예요. 어렵지 않아요. 그냥 C로 짜면 몇줄안 돼요. 어떤 특정 파일 찾는 거 어, 어렵지 않아요. So. Uh, or in login, read the username and password, look up entry for the user in the password file, hash input password and compare. Uh, more secure, keep your password creation time, add creation time to the password before hashing. Identical password on hash to the identical values. I think uh, uh, the examples that I give you are probably good enough 
So in some cases, as soon as you type in password, the system will do something like this and then check whether they have the same file, same name stored in their system. And then if this match, okay. But there might be a potential, pro there might be some problem of that way because every single time you will have the same output like HA. If this is given, this will be given. So they wanted to change, another way of protecting the system itself, they wanted to do this every single time differently. That's one. So it's, it will be complicated, but it's another secure way. In many cases, if you hear the term like hacking overflow, buffer overflow, someone hacked the hash tables and Heart, heart to bleed? What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? There is uh, some problem with the encryption uh, protocols. The, it, the encryption techniques that are being used in the internet, but it has some problem. They usually referring to a hash problem. So it means that somehow this method was wrong. Whatever you give, your output always same. Huge problem. It means that anybody can log into that system. 그지? Hash, hash function이 잘못됐다. 이렇게 표현하는 건, 이 방법이 뭘 잘못해갖고, 여기에 무슨 문제가 있어갖고, 여기에 예를 들어, one compared to star. Every, every time I give a star, hash value always same. Hash value must be unique. Every, it's supposed to be unique for every single character. But they found some bug that some combination of password will give the always same thing. It means that anybody can log into the system. So those are the typical examples for uh, of a problem in the software. Hash table. 이런 경우 많아요. 대부분 hash table 잘못되었고 일반적으로 hash function 실제로 있는 거 보면 되게 복잡해요. 막. 아 복잡하진 않은데 막. 착딱 보면 이렇게 감은 잘안 와요. 이거는 좀 쉽게 잘 써놓은 것이고. 근데 모드 많이 써요. 모드를 실제로 많이 써서. 근데 최근에도 몇년 전에도 그런 일 많았어요. 최근 2년 전만 해도 한번 난리가 난 적이 있었어요. 뭐 여러분들 일반 사람들은 잘 몰랐지만 웹 서버 전 세계에 있는 웹 서버가 아파치라는 소프트웨어를 많이 쓰거든. 근데 그게 몇십 년 동안 계속 안 문제 없이 써던 건데 그 중에 이렇게 해시태그 이렇게 써서 하는 게 있었는데. 2년 전인가 어떤 사람이 그냥 장난스럽게 뭘 이렇게 해보다가 그게 갑자기 문제가 있는 거딱안 거야. 20, 30년, 뭐 몇십 년 만에. 그 난리가 난 거예요. 전 세계에 있는 한 60% 웹 서버가 잘못하면 다 뚫리게 생긴. 그래갖고 막 회사들 갑자기 막 전산망 닫아가지고 막 고치고 막 그랬었어. 난리가 났죠. 말도 안 되는 거 큰일 나죠. 그런 경우. 수학적으로 어떤 이거를 주면 매번 다른 게 나와야 되는 게 그게 식이 잘못된 걸 나중에 발견하는 경우가 많아요. 어떤 식들은 다 이렇게 증명이 돼 있는데 그 증명이 잘못된 거지. 나중에 해시 테이블은 그 데이터 스트럭처 나오면 조금 다시 나와요. 아주 간단하게. Anyway, so uh, that is a basic idea of uh, protecting your password. So if you're being a hacker or if you try to uh, penetrate through to a certain system, so if you wanted to log into someone else's account or if you wanted to hack my server, so I don't know the password, right? I don't know the password. So what can you do? What might be the dumbest way of attacking someone else's server? That is something called a brute force algorithm. That is a name for that too. So you try every possibilities, which doesn't make sense, you know? It's going to be tough. It's not going to be allowed. Uh, it's, not, it's not going to be very successful. If you try to look for, what is the possibility? How many possibilities are out there if you create your password using a maybe four digit number, four digit binary number? Binary number. How many combination is possible? Yes, 16. What if you increase this number? 
That's why we hear this uh, expression all the time from the news. Your web browser, your web browser Internet Explorer, can, can provide a 128 bit encryption software, encryption algorithm. 128 bits. Easily saying that there is 2 to the 218 possibility of password. Can you try that? I don't know, even know. 이건 뭐 200, 이게 128승이면 뭐 경도 넘어가지 않을까? I don't know. 엄청 많을 거야, 엄청 많을 거야. So, that is usually me. So sometimes if you hear this from a media report, there are 256-bit secure system, 128-bit secure system. Typically your access point, Wi-Fi, they usually provide 64-bit uh, encryption algorithms or long, uh, some, some previous versions, 32-bit encryption algorithms. 그냥 그런 거 들으면 저렇게 생각하면 아주 간단해요. So, I'm going to show you some examples anyways. So guess a password. That is a, one of the dumb way, but maybe the only way that you might be able to do. Uh, brute force or from some knowledge. Try common password. There are, there are report that 60% of the password in this world are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. ABC 1, 2, 3. There is a report on that too. 매년 그런 리포트 하는데 ABC 1, 2, 3이 아마 1등일 거예요. 사람들이 많이 쓴대요. 거의 뭐 5, 60%. So why not just try a common password? If you try to write your own hacking software, if your software is try to get the password, let's try a common phrases first. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 뭐 그래서 that's why banks, they don't allow to use your birthdays anymore. 이제 생일로는 패스워드 안 되지 요즘에 은행에서 못하게 해놨죠 옛날에 다 됐는데 why? because your birthday information is easily uh, easily found because everyone having their Facebook account especially so if they, they, they know your name and a lot of people they try to use the same ID for multiple website if you know the ID of their your Facebook and if you know their birthday from Facebook web page then you might be able to hack into someone else, uh, the, the person's banking account too. I mean, if you're allowed to use your birthday as a, as a, as a password. So try personal references if they have a path. Try their wife's name. Try their wife's birthday. Those type of stuff. It is actually something called, uh, so you try all possible password. You try all possible password. Computationally difficult means it would take a long time to do it. It would take a long time to do it. Still password files, use password cracking software. Still password files. I'm stealing someone else's password files. 이거 드롭박스에 올려놓은 사람 혹시 있어요? 드롭박스나 그거들. 많이들 있을걸? It's uh, under assumption that you trust uh, Dropbox and Google. 구글하고 드랍박스를 믿으면 뭐 근데 구글이랑 드랍박스가 자기 디렉토리 안 본다는 보장할 수 있어요? 다죠. 회사 같은 데 가면 어, Gmail 같은 거나 구글 웹사이트 못 쓰게 하는 데들 많아요. 그, 특히 구글 번역기 있지? 웹사이트에서. 그렇죠. 그래서 사람들이 영어로 온 이메일 같은 거 있으면 좀 어려우니까 자기 이메일 이렇게 끌고 가지고 구글 번역기 넣고 구글 번역기가 번역해 줘. 회사 안에서 회사 이메일을 그렇게 쓰는 사람이 많대요. 그러면 번역하달라고 할때 번역하는 거다 구글로 가겠죠. 그죠? 그죠? 아, 국내에서 많이 그죠? 삼성하고 애플하고 많이 싸웠잖아. 구글 막 이렇게 편먹고 똑같아요. 그래서 삼성이나 이런 회사들은 구글 트랜스레이터 못 쓰게 만들어놨어요. 걔네랑 같이 일도 하지만 경쟁 관계인데 회사 이메일 이렇게 하다가 툭 날아가네. 거의 대부분 다 가지고 있다 보면 됩니다. Try all possible password computation and difficult password cracking softwares are common ways to do it. So they try every single combination, millions of password possibility per seconds. And social engineering is uh, it's been there all the time, but they try to use ter they use the new term like social engineering. You surf around someone else's Facebook, Twitter, and try to guess the password. This is a common way to do that nowadays. 
이거는 기술은 아니지만 아, 왜 이것도 이제 기술이죠. 뭐 아주 막, 막 소프트웨어를 짜고 이런 기술은 아니지만 뭐 데이터를 가져다 할수 있는 거죠. 아 요즘에 기술을 치겠구나. 이게 빅데이터나 별반 다를 거 없어요. 빅데이터 통해서 어떤 사람의 패스워드가 이걸 것이다 라고 하는 소프트웨어들도 있어요. 이거 관련해서 요즘에 그 무슨 인터넷 장례식 이런 하는 벤처들도 많잖아. 그런 벤처에서 들어봤죠. 그렇죠? 자기 이름 주면 페이스북이랑 트위터랑 모든 SNS 자료를 다시 지워주시는. 아마 네덜란드에서 처음 그런 벤처가 생겼고 요즘에 그런 데가 많은 걸로 알고 있어요. 과거를 깨끗하게 하고 싶은 사람들이 그걸 하겠죠. 그렇죠? So I, I borrow some other slide to explain a bit more on the password part. Probably uh, the oldest authentication mechanism is making sure that you are the person that you, who you are uh, telling you are who you are. Uh, is the computer system usually user had the ID and password maybe multiple attempts in case of errors. If you have a if you type your password three times straight wrong, then they usually block your IDs. If so, how can you try all different passwords if you try to hack someone else's, if, if you try to use someone else's IDs? Usability problems are common uh, uh, consequences of this password. You forgot your own password. What do you do if you forgot your own password? What do you do? Nowadays, the website, they usually provide the functionality. Please click here if you can remember your password. They then, They reset your password, give you a temporary password. So those type of mechanisms wasn't there before. Nowadays, it's common in all websites. But before those things are in place, it was very difficult to do it. 뭐 방법이 없으니까. 그냥 전화해서 가르쳐 주기도 했어요. 전화해서 가르쳐 주기도 하고. 지금은 상상이 잘안 되죠. Uh, Entering password is inconvenient. I don't know, but it's probably efficient as well. If the password is disclosed to the unauthorized individual, then individual can immediately access protected resources. Uh, if your password revealed in revealed to public, then they can access your Gmail account, for example. 그래서 keep telling you that do not enter your email addresses in computers like this. Do not enter your ID and password in computers and PC 방. 다 남아. 하지 말아야 되지. 하지 말라는 걸 하지 말아야 돼요. 그죠? Uh, unless you use a multi factor authentication. Multi factor authentication, briefly explain, it's like this. When I was working in France, I log into my, 뭐였지? I log into Gmail from that, uh, uh, my company that I was working for. And then I had a summer vacation and come to Seoul, stay for a few days. I also try to access at the same time, log into my Gmail. As soon as I log into Gmail, they give you a warning message. Your email account has been accessed in Europe. Which one is you? Which one is you? So when you try to log in, they check your password and as well as your location. Multi-factor authentication. 하나만 보는 게 아니라 여러 가지. They also look at your login time. If you try login from multiple continent, of course it's slightly, it's something, it's very suspicious. 그렇지? 동시에 한 놈, 똑같은 어카운트가 유럽이랑 한국에서 동시에 됐어. 그렇지? I don't know about neighbor. I never try with a neighbor. At least Gmail, Google website, they actually alert you. And they ask you to do, re-authenticate yourself. 다시 물어봐요. 다시 물어보고 다시 누군지 확인하고 저쪽 거를 끊어 줄까요? 물어봐요. 요즘은 다될 거예요. That is what it means to have multi-factor authentication. If the password is sharing among many people, password update become difficult. 이건 말할 필요도 없고. 그렇죠? 근데 password sharing is pretty common in some work environment. 병원 같은 데는 패스워드를 그냥 다 공유한다고 그러더라고요. 왜냐면 바쁘고 막 급하면 자기 아이디 치고 패스워드 들어가고 하면 하니까 그냥 다 열어놓는다고 하는데 원래 그러면 돼야 안 돼요. 큰일 나죠. 의료 의료 자료인데 큰일 나요. 잘못 잡혀가는 일이에요. 
So fancy way of saying try all the password is something called brute force algorithm. Brute force algorithm. It's not just password hacking. Any algorithm that tried all the, all the possibilities is something called brute force algorithms. Try all possibilities. Try all pass, a pa possible password using exhaustive search, extensive search. Search for every possibilities. Why do they say about search? What do we know about search? We discussed a one or two algorithms about searching. What is it? Binary search, linear search, right? Linear search. In terms of binary search, binary search is what? I don't remember. It's just a little bit. So if I draw a binary search like this. But binary, usually only two options. It says extensive search means that. One of the node is a password that you're looking for. So it's going to be a same as searching problem. It's a searching problem. I have to figure out which direction I should go in order to find this file. In, uh, in order to find this node, this node may containing A, B, C, one, two, three. So it becomes a search problem. But problem again, you have to search for all nodes until you found one. So without even looking at the next few lines, you can see that this is going to be very, very expensive search. It would take a long time to do it. Binary search in way so because you can find things easier, uh, faster. So what was the time efficiency of the binary search? And no. Time efficiency of binary search was what? Log n. So extensive. 다 찾으면 log n이 되면 될 리가 있나? 안 되겠죠. 잘못하면 막 그냥 다 n인데 n도 막 2에 128승이면 이게 n이면 아무 의미가 없죠. 리니어 설치라고 해서 다 찾아야 되는 거니까. 그렇죠? So they give you one small example on the part like how long it might take. If you test a 35, uh, 350,000 Microsoft Word password per second on Pentium 4 computer, 3기가 Pentium 4, it's probably a bit older than your current, 아니다, 뭐 랩탑 좀 후진 거 쓰는 사람들보다는 그나마 좀 나은 거겠다. 아, 랩탑은 그, 그 노트북. 후진 거 쓰는 사람보다는 좀 나은 거. If you try 35만 개, 350,000 password per second for length of eight, eight characters, letters only. How many letters in the alphabet? 몇 개냐? <웃음> 나도 잊어버렸어. 스물여섯 개냐? 뭐죠? 아니면 how many letters in Korean character? 자음 모음 몇 개야? 자음 모음 몇 개야? 이거 봐. 알파벳 모르고 한글도 모르면 도대체 어떻게 하란 말이야? Anyway, assuming that you have all your password only consists of the letters um, and eight lengths of eight characters, that gives you around two to the ten to the eleventh possibilities. But you can try. 350,000 um, password per second. That will give you uh, 166 hours to test all the possibilities. 166 시간이 얼마니? 24 hours, seven days, 한 uh, more eight eight days. 그죠? More than a week. 그죠? Expected wait till success is 83 hours. 이건 어떻게 할까? Expected wait. There is a probabilities in terms of Hakton, they usually ask for what is the expected time, expectation for something is done. 그렇죠. 그냥 average. 그냥 반 나누면 돼. Divide by two. Repeat. Expected time. If you found your password on its way, 여기, 여기 정도 있다가, you got lucky. Then you don't need to look at this side. 그렇죠? So then your time for expectation will be reduced by half. So that's that much. 
So in theory, that you have to turn on your computer for uh, more than a week, try all the password. Your CPU, you come in, your CPU will burn to death. 아마 CPU가 아마 불날 거야. 제대로 안 해주면 팬이 먼저 망가지거나 둘 중에 하나일 거야. 그렇게 그렇게까지는 하겠다. 그건 좀 과장이고. So if you want to try this more faster ways, they give you very simple solution. Can you fast this up? Fasten this up. You simply say buy more computer. But is it going to help? I don't know. I don't know. So easy to buy more hardware, it pays off the worth it. Paralyzing search and running on the graphic GPU. GPU, graphic card between the CPU. If you, some, nowadays you can use the GPU to program. So if your GPU just simply trying, generating new type of password, might be easier. So you can, uh, you can ease the burden of the CPU itself. Then you might be able to achieve speed up to 25. So 20 times faster if you use the right GPU, the right way of doing it. 뭐, 할수 있어요. 아니면 클러스터. 요즘 뭐 클러스터 소프트웨어 이런 거 많아요. 그런 거 해갖고 병렬화 시켜. 뭐 슈퍼 컴퓨터 얘기하듯이 병렬화 시키면 할수 있죠. Can make attack harder by inducing digit and special characters in the password. Simply means if you increase this number, 8 to 10, then this possibility will increase. It would take more time. Or if you ask them to include special type of characters, like dot, star, percentage signs, then the probability will increase a lot more. It's got more combination to it. It's an easy way of saying how to, that's increase your uh, uh, encryption techniques, uh, in, uh, security of your, what uh, are performance of your uh, encryption techniques. 그러니까 자꾸 저렇게 늘려가겠죠? 256비트, 128비트, 256비트. 아주 단순하게 트라, 해볼 게 많으면 더 오래 걸리잖아요. 그렇죠? 아, 좀 빨리 넘어가야 되겠다. Uh, blah, blah, blah. There are certain programs that you, you can try. I'm not so sure you can try now, but do this. But can you do this into the neighbor.com? You try someone else's ID and you try 350,000 password per second to the neighbor website. 그럼 어떻게 돼? Neighbor will block you. After three, five attempts, then they will block the account. 그죠? So this is not going to be easy. Uh, it's not, it's not, it cannot be done easily in the current internet. 이거 네이버닷컴에다가 초당 35만 개 하게 하면 당연히 35만 개까지 갈 것도 없어요. 한 사, 다섯 번 틀리면 그냥 ID 나올 겁니다. That's one way to protect your system too. 그쪽에서는 그렇게 막는 거죠. Then how can you avoid such detection? 어떻게 피해갈까? Maybe you can try with the multiple computers and every time you try a password, you give a time. Maybe don't try it right away. Maybe wait for another second, two seconds, three seconds to avoid that detection mechanism. Maybe possible or not. Uh, but don't try that at home. 아마 거의 불가능할 거예요. 잘안될 거예요. Anyway, uh, so go back to the slide. Other authentication mechanism allow personal information questions, biometric information, um, well, fingerprinting. Would you mind? What is Graphic or password? Yeah. They give you certain graph. Windows 8, they give you graph, uh, I mean, picture. They want you to touch certain formats. If the point that you push, uh, the point you're pointing in that picture matches your previous, then let you into the system. 근데 핑거프린트 같은 거 요즘에 잘안 쓰죠? 하도 부정할 것 같고. 요즘에 아이폰, 아이폰은 핑거프린트 쓰지. 뭐 유튜브 찾아보면 그거 뚫는 거 많이 나오던데. 그죠? 잘안 쓰죠? 그 진짜인지 모르겠는데 어떤 데는 가면 갈 때마다 피를 이렇게 하는 데도 있다고 얘기하는데 그건 잘 모르겠어요. 진짜인지 가짜인지. 좀 과장인 것 같고. 한동안, 한동안 홍채인식 이런 거 많이 있었죠? 어디 내 옛날에 홍채인식 연구하는 개발 연구 뭐 개발하는 연구실에 가봤는데 문 앞에다 자기네가 이렇게 하는 거 해놨어요. 그 사람들은 홍채 인식하고 얼굴 인식하고 같이 해놨어요. 네. 아무나 갖다 대면 열려요. <웃음> 개판이야 개판. 네. 
아, 자기 얼굴에도 얼굴 표정 조금만 이상하게 보면 안 열리고 막, 해, 막. 차라리 한 번도 등록 안된 사람께 더잘 열려요. 어, 되게 희한했었어. 요즘이라고 특히 다르냐? 비슷할 걸요. 크게 다르지 않을 거예요. 요즘에 그런 것도 나왔지? 요즘이 아니라 최근 2, 3년 동안 많이 나왔던 거. 갤럭시 피트 나오면서 요즘에 많이 또 하는 거. 요즘에 갤럭시 피시나 뭐 이상한 스마트워치 하면 심장 박동제잖아. 심장 박동이 사람마다 틀리대요. 그래서 그걸로, 그걸로 알고리즘을 짜가지고 하는데 뭐좀 뛰고 와서 로그인 하려고 그러면 안될 거고. 그죠? 하여튼 뭐 여러 가지 이슈가 많을 겁니다. One time password scheme, user enter ID and partial password system give you uh, another password. Let the password good for only a few seconds. 이거 많이 쓰죠? OTP인가? Anybody using the, uh, 우리, 우리 은행이나 이런 데 가면 If you don't agree to use those code 표, then they give you, they, you need to buy a small device that generate a number every single time differently. OTP, OTP 얘기하는 거예요. OTP 이렇게 하면 꼭한몇초 안에 그 패스워드 넣어야지만 되죠. 똑같은 거예요. That's more, more, more secure way of doing it, but um, inconvenient. 그렇죠? What if you lose your OTP? I don't know. <웃음> 그 스마트폰에도 OTP 제너레이터 있어요. 네이버 앱 같은 거 보면 OTP 제너레이터 있어요. 그래서 so, malware is a software. 아유, 너무 딴 소리 많이 했다. 빨리 가자. Uh, malware, malicious software arriving from the network. Uh, viruses, worm, and Trojan horses. Viruses program and be embedded within the another program or file replicate itself. Attack on the others. Virus is what? If you got infected, then sometimes. Uh, If we are if we are connected onto the same AP, if one of the computer got infected, then computers that connected the same AP can be affected too. 뭐 그런 거 남을 감염시킬 수 있는 거. Worms program that can send copies of itself to the other node on the network. 똑같아요. Worm이 a virus 나. Internet worm is more common term nowadays to use it. Trojan horse the program hidden. If you click OK to install certain program, but you think it's just a simple program to monitor your computer, but it is actually not. They send you, they send your passwords to, to someone else, secretly doing something uh, unintended. That's why the, the website, when you enter certain website, they usually ask for, do you want to install my program, ActiveX? As soon as you're clicking OK, you're giving a, everything, every authority of your system to that program. 근데 일부 은행 웹사이트 들어가면 ActiveX 안 까면 안 되잖아요. 똑같은 얘기예요. ActiveX 그냥 프로그램이에요. 프로그램. 그런 거. 도움이 되는 프로그램인 줄 알고 깔았는데 뭘 하긴 하는데 나한테 도움도 주면서 뒤로는 딴짓거리 하는 애들. 많아요. Anyway, uh, let me take a look at what is the malware. It's a various form of software written for malicious intent. Malicious means something bad. Something bad. So program is bad at the beginning. So a common characteristic of all type of malware is that it needs to be executed in order to cause harm. How does the malware get executed? You clicking OK. So everything, your responsibility after this point. But you didn't know that was a malware, so it doesn't matter. You give them access to everything. So, user action, downloading and running malicious software, clicking OK without reading anything. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Visiting web page containing malicious ActiveX controls, of course. Opening an executable email attachment, inserting a CD, of course. As soon as you insert the CD, what's happening? CD CD USB now. 하면 usually screen pop up, program running. 그렇죠? Executable files, .exe files, is running right away without your permission. USB도 마찬가지. USB에 있는 디렉토리에 파일이 숨겨져 있는 거예요. 숨겨져. 파일 어떻게 숨겨? 아주 간단하게. 어? 
아, 뭐, 비슷한 얘기예요. 하이드, 맞아요. 똑같은 얘기예요. 파일 명 앞에다가 점만 하나 찍어도 안 보여요. 지금 똑같은 얘기예요. 하이드 하는 거예요. 그거, 그거, 이거 해주는 거예요. 파일 명에다가. 파일, 파일. 그럼 설정을 바꿔주냐, 안 하냐, 일단 보이진 않아요. 뭐 되게 간단간단한 거지 뭐. Exploring the existing flaws in the system, buffer overflow. Uh, like um, certain programs running. 아, 내가 MS 보여줄까? 아, 모르겠다. 그거는 나중에 시간 나면. The program itself has some problems. That's why they keep asking you to a asking you to update. What is a buffer overflow? Buffer overflow가 뭘까? Simply put, well, it could be many different meanings, but buffer overflow. 나도 코드표 스캔해서 넣어놨는데 이름 바꿔갖고 숨겨놨는데 그래도 아무 상관없죠. 뭐. Buffer overflow 아주 쉽게. Well, a lot of algorithms that we have looked at so far, they usually ask for array. This is array size of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Size of seven. Could you? You could do this, right? In seven. Simply means buffer will flow. So I can access 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But somehow you make a mistake that you try to access seventh position. Is this possible? And did you? Because you didn't declare anything. This space doesn't exist. Buffer. Overflow. 넘쳤어. Overflow. Overflow 하면 뭐죠? 컵 있으면 물 이렇게 차는 거. 넘쳐갖고 물 흐르잖아. 잘 그렸다. 오랜만에 그렸는데. Cup overflow. Overflow. When you try to access a certain memory location that is not given to you, some cases your system can crash or give you the shell mode. 깜정 화면으로 들어가는 거 예를 들면 갑자기. This type of memory declaration is happening in everywhere in your software. Microsoft Word, thousand location for buffer overflow. 이렇게 어레이 쓰고 메모리 내가 이만큼 메모리 1 메가 쓰겠다 하다가 프로그램 짜다가 이메가 쓴 거야. 그러면 대부분 프로그램이 segmentation fault 뭐 이런 거 나오고 그런데 가끔씩 재수 죽으면 시스템 안으로 들어갈 수도 있어요. So you try to access an illegal location within the memory. So simply put, that's a buffer overflow. Like, so you intentionally create the buffer overflow cases in your software. 여러분들 프로그램 짜갖고 누가 악의적으로 계속 여기만 계속 찌르는 거야. 없는데. 없는데, 없는데 자꾸 찔러. 재수 좋으면 권한이 있는 쪽으로 떨어질 수 있어요. 떨어진다고 많이 표현하는데 그게 오버플로우예요. 아니면 그냥 시스템 다운시켜도 되고 그것도 하나의 목적이면. 그렇죠? Simply put, this is not everything, but simply put, the, to our knowledge, buffer overflow is very similar to this activities. 되게 막 뉴스에서 버퍼 플로어로 뭐, 뭐 어쩌고저쩌고 이런 얘기 나와야 뻔한 얘기예요. 똑같은 얘기예요. Memory protection. Security within the operating systems. So viruses is a particular soft kind of malware. It's still a malware. It's bad intention software uh, that infect the other files. Traditionally, virus could infect the only executable programs. Nowadays, many data documented format can contain executable code, such as macro. 혹시 macro, have you ever tried to open up a macro containing files? Excel, simply put, Excel 같은데, if you try to open an Excel file, some Excel files will ask you, do you want to execute the macros inside this program? Inside this file. Um, 어떤 거? So some programs can have a program inside, small script, Visual Basic 같은 거. Simply put, if your Excel file you open up has a button, it's a program by someone else. So you give them a permission to use those buttons within your computer. Macro. Excel file 가끔가다 좀 복잡한 Excel 파일이나 
열어보면 이렇게 버튼 붙어 있는 거 있어요. 이거 버튼 누르면 뭐 뭐가 딴 데로 가고. 그 사람들이 그 버튼에 프로그램 해 놓은 거거든요. 그렇죠? 근데 그 버튼이 꼭 그것만 한다는 보장이 어디 있어? 그죠? 아무도 모르죠. 그 버튼이 뭘할 줄은. 이런 경우에 그냥 파일을 써야 되니까 오케이 하는 경우 많아요. 근데 마크로 파일은 사실 되게 불안해요. 왜냐면 웬만한 걸다 컴퓨터에 쓸수 있게 만들어 놓을 권한이 있기 때문에. 그래서 클릭하면 동시에 뭐 자기가 타이핑하는 게딴 사람한테 전송이 된다거나 쉽게 이렇게 만들 수 있어요. So you're actually saying yes to the, a lot of this. Many different type of files can be infected with the viruses now. 아니면 some very very bad uh, virus uh, tools 혹시 그런 것도 봤어요? They actually you, if you infected with the certain viruses, then they they lock your all your document files. 이거랑 If your computer is infected with some bad viruses, they usually say, if you try to click these files, they say, enter your password. 혹시 그런 바이러스 걸려본 사람? 걸려봤어요? 아니요. 이거 많아요. And then, and then you can't open up on your own files because the virus is scanning for this file, they put some type of protection on these files. And then, they, then you will receive an email. If you pay me a hundred dollars within 24 hours, I will give you the password. 진짜 많아, 되게 많아 이 바이러스. Hundred dollars may be low, but a couple hundred dollars. What if your file that some of your file really containing really really important stuff? 정말 없으면 안 되는 파일 걸렸으면 어떻게? 그럼 어떻게요? So let's say they ask for thousand dollars within 24 hours. This under this account. 그럼 어떻게 해야 돼? What is your solution? 대부분의 사람들은 보내는 사람도 있을 거야. 정말. 그러니까 100명한테 이런 바이러스 걸렸고 한 명한테만 돈 받으면 성공하는 거지 뭐. 그죠? t h e what happen if you send 1000 dollars? Even if they send you some password, no, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Usually it's not a problem with password. And then after one day your disk will be disrupted. Something is not right. Uh, first scan the directory looking for these file names. 그죠? Get the directories for those file names and then you look at this file as a binary number. So 이렇게 뭐 예를 들어 와 이것도 파일이니까 바이너리잖아? 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. 해갖고 뭐 아까지 한 대로 Maybe this translates to some number. This translates to some number. You add them up. 똑같이 You add them up and You convert that into some type of character, 그죠? You use that as a password and lock the password on this particular file. 그럼 뭐, if that's your virus then, 그죠? The pro problem, uh, problem comes, how can, you, uh, how can you convince the other users to install your software, 그죠? 그냥 이렇게 옛날에는 이렇게 하는 거 어려, 어려우면 이렇게 하는 사람도 많았어요. 이 프로그램 짱 좋아, 그리고 그냥 메일로 쭉 뿌려요. <웃음> 그러면 <웃음> 자꾸 뿌려 나가면 한 100명 뿌려 나가서 한명 되면 성공. 그지? 1000명 뿌려서 10명 돼서 성공. 1000명 뿌려서 한명 돼서 성공. 바이러스 그런 식으로 가는 거지. Is it, is it a fancy tactic? No. It's more of how to uh, create an illusion for the people. So, that, uh, another example is blah blah blah. Trojan horse is, like I told you, um, you, you thought this program is something else, but the, the program is good, but they're doing some good stuff, on the behind, they're doing something bad as well. The Trojan Horse, 이거 어디서 나왔는데? 혹시 아는 사람? 그 뭐지? 트로이? 무비 봤어요? 아, 영화. 그 누구냐? 잘생긴 아저씨 나오는 거. 안젤리나 졸리 남편이 누구지? 어, 브래드 핏. 아, 거꾸로 쓰, 거꾸로 생각. 브래드 핏은 생각이 안 나. 안젤리나 졸리 생각이 나지. 그, 그, 트로이가 그 나왔었죠? 브래드 핏가 나왔었죠? 거기 보면 맨 마지막에. 말 타고 들어왔고 밤에 막 기어 나오잖아요. Trojan horse viruses. They thought this was a gift, but inside they were hiding something bad. So that is the word coming from that too. Infection. What does what does it mean to infect a file? Virus wanted to modify existing programs or documents. This way, modify the documents. 
the way that executing opening will transfer control to the virus, blah, blah, blah. Virus will can do a dirty work and then transfer control back to the host. For executable program, typically virus will modify other programs, copy itself, beginning, blah, 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 documents with the macro, high alert securities. 뭐, 이거 아까 한 얘기 같고. 똑같은 얘기인데. Okay, let's skip this too. So how, how does the virus spreading between computers or how can you detect those viruses? Virus. 어떻게 알아내? How can you find out the certain, certain file is a virus file or certain packet in the network is containing a virus? How can you find out? 어떻게? 백신. 백신은 뭐야? 그렇게 물어보자. What is the, those vaccine tools are doing? 안, 안랩이나 스포츠키나 What are those things are doing? 검사, 검사한다 그러잖아요. 검사하는 게 뭐야? 검사한다는 게뭘 검사하는 걸까? 바이러스 자꾸 자꾸 물어본 거 떠물어 보라. <웃음> 똑같은 질문 계속 하는 거야. 검사하는데 뭘 검사하는 걸까? 쉽게는 아주 기본적인 펑션 하나는 내 컴퓨터에서 돌고 있는 프로그램 이름을 검색하는 거예요. 그리고 내 컴퓨터에 있는 파일을 검색하는 거예요. So if you think about it, those virus, antivirus tools, virus are doing same thing. 거의 비슷해. Uh, you always feel that your computer is getting slow if you turn on your virus detecting tools. 이제 약간 느려지지. 느려지는 느낌 많이 받죠. Why? Because once in a while, this Antivirus programs will scan every files in your computer. 그래가지고 뭐 예를 들어 뭐 윈, 여러분들 윈도우 많이 쓰니까 윈도우 디렉터리라는 이상한 파일도 많잖아. 잘 모르는 파일 뭐 DLL 뭐 이런 거. They scan this entire directory and looking for certain file names that is known to be a virus related. 여기 여기. abc.dll이라는 파일이 있는지 없는지 보는 거야. 그리고 바이러스 소프트웨어가 아 바이러스 잡는 소프트웨어가 계속 이걸 하면서 어 abc.dll이라는 파일이 갑자기 생겼네. 근데 내가 알기로는 abc.dll이 바이러스가 걸려야 생기는 파일인데 해갖고 알려주는 거야. Well, this is one of the functionalities. One of the functionalities of those stuff. Then how does the virus antivirus companies knows about this file? 이건 어떻게 알아? 이게 바이러스랑 걸려 바이러스랑 관련 있는 파일인지 어떻게 알아? 그냥 컴퓨터 한대 놓고 매번 걸려 보는 거예요. 그래가지고 그래갖고 탁 알면 가끔씩 안티 어, 가장 많이 쓰는 거 뭐지? 알약 이런 거 많이 쓰나? 알약이나 안철수 V3 같은 거. 막 계속 통신하죠. 회사 거기랑 업데이트 받았습니다. 새로운 바이러스 목록을 업데이트 받았습니다. 이거야. The, the difference between different antivirus software is who has a large database, who knows more than the others, who knows faster than the others. 누가 먼저 빨리 새로 나온 바이러스 이름 가져가지고 사람들한테 알려주느냐가 성능 차이예요. 하나 물론 초반에 초반에 안티바이러스 툴들은 거의 이랬을 때만 했어요. 단순하지. 되게 웃기지 않아요? 그냥 나, 남들보다 더 빨리 걸려가지고 아 내가 네, 걸려보니까 얘가 생기네 하고 딴 사람한테 알려주는 거예요. 얼마 전에 작년에 KBS랑 KBS 바이러스 걸렸다고 어디야? KB, 농협! 농협 바이러스 걸려갖고 난리 난적 있었죠. 그게 바이러스인가? 그때 거기에 결국에 이유는 뭐로 나왔죠? 어떻게 바이러스가 농협 안에 퍼지게 됐느냐? 스프레딩! 해갖고 경찰 조사에서 뭐라고 나왔죠? 마지막에? 혹시 기억하는 사람 있어요? What was it? They also tried looking for spreading mechanism. Is someone else, someone inside, click it and spread within the network, or is there another way of doing it? 뭐 별의별 얘기 많았잖아. 북한 해커가 해킹해서 들어와서 뭐 설치하고 나왔다. 내가 잘은 모르는데 나도 해커는 아니고 내 전문 분야 그뭐 아니라고도 하고 또 그렇고 좀 그렇게 다 하게 좀 애매한 입장인데, 야. 웬만한 은행 해킹할 수 있으면 그냥 모셔가야 돼요. FBI가 벌써 데려가셨을 거예요. <웃음> 쉽지 않아요. 근데 
어, 뭐 어떻게 결국엔 어떻게 밝혀졌죠? 그그 그 안에 있는 컴퓨터들 농협 안에 그 전산소 안에 있는 컴퓨터들도 다 뭐, 안철수 연구소 바이러스 쓰고 있었대요. 아 바이러스 잡는 툴들 위, 위험하니까. 근데 해커가 안철수 연구소에 있는 바이러스 업데이트 해주는 서버를 해킹해가지고 거기에 프로그램을 씌워놨고 매번 이렇게 업데이트 받잖아? 소프트웨어들이 걔가 이렇게 내려준 거예요. 머리 좋죠? 매번 다운받아서 업데이트 하잖아요. 여러분들 여기 지금 컴퓨터도 V3 소프트웨어 깔려있으면 계속 얘네랑 통신한다고. 그러니까 하나하나 해킹하기 귀찮으니까 그 바이러스 정보 알려주는 애를 해킹해가지고 해킹도 아니야. 그 관리자 그냥 관리자 패스워드를 알아가지고 그냥 계속 다른 거 내려준 거예요. 그래갖고 딴 파일 계속 지우기. 예를 들어 abc123이 좋은 파일이야. 근데 abc123은 바이러스다 라고 얘기해주면 어떻게 하겠어요? 백신에서. 못하게 갑자기 막죠. 갑자기 지우, 지우까지 못해도. 지우려면 사람한테 물어보죠. 지우겠습니까? 뭐, 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 뭐 치료하겠습니까? 이렇게 물어보죠. 그 전에는 일단 막아요. 막으면 뭐, 뭐가 안 됐겠지. 정상적인 파일을 지우라고 하거나 막으라고 한다거나 정상적인 파일을 치료한 사실 치료한다는 게 아주 치료한다는 의미는 뭘까? 멈추게 하고 지우는 거야. 정상적인 파일을 바이러스로 알려주고 멈추게 하고 지워. 그래 컴퓨터 껐다 키니까 부팅 안 돼. <웃음> 간단해요. 나 같아도 그렇게 하겠어. 아주 간단해. 몰라 직접 그렇게까지는 했는지 모르겠지만 어쨌든 원인은 그렇게 밝혀. How to spread the viruses? Okay, uh, I will collect your assignment after I called your attendances. 출석 부르고 갑시다. <웃음>